सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री वी डिड अप टू लेक्चर फोर वेर वी वर रिकैपिंग वॉट वी हैव हर्ड और लर्न इन यू एच बी टू एंड नाउ वी आर ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल एक्सरसाइज सो वील डू वन step of this exercise now and then go back to the lecture so in exercise 1 we said we are going to do exercise 1 and exercise 2 in exercise 1 we are observing the self by the self and in exercise 2 we will be observing the body by the self so we said that we are doing these exercises for developing ourselves so that we can have understanding so that we can see the reality the way it is and we can live happy fulfilling lives in continuity so um as has been displayed there are some seven steps to this exercise we'll do them as we go along um, so right now we'll focus on step 1 this is where we started yesterday trying to become aware of the imagination to be aware of yourself so for a large part of the time we have been looking outside paying attention outside because that's what we thought was important we may not have been even aware of the self so forget about trying to observe anything inside we just assumed that everything was outside so we were paying attention outside now that we have decided that we want to pay attention inside so for that we need to spend some time take that decision first and foremost if i don't see it as important i will not do it isn't it so if i see it as important then i will sit down and i will try to look within and when you look within what are you trying to see you are trying to see this imagination these activities that are going on within you all the time that we were not aware of this imagination is going on all the time and first and foremost when we try to start seeing we may not see anything or we may be very restless and we may we may want to get out of this what is this sitting in one place and doing this but as time goes we will become more comfortable with this just as with anything else this also requires a little bit of practice and very soon we will be able to observe while doing many things in that process we will be able to you know while doing the activities also pay attention inside as well as pay attention outside but to begin with you may want to sit in one place and try to observe within um most often to begin with we just see the thoughts lots and lots of thoughts just flowing so many thoughts and you'll be amazed at what all you are thinking you think that it is not important to you if somebody asked you is it important you would say no but still you can see those thoughts so rather than try and see oh what am i thinking oh why am i thinking this don't evaluate just observe without any evaluation without any judgment without any reaction without trying to stop this thought or oh, this is not the right thought i should not think this or no no i should be thinking something else so i change my thought or i try to stop the thought don't do all that just try to observe 
So it's a very simple step, but it's an important step. And we had asked you to do this yesterday. We had asked you to um, do this self-reflection assignment. Of course, earlier we had said this, that try and sit by yourself for half an hour every day at any point in the day when you are comfortable, not too tired, not too um, you know, caught up with anything outside, not likely to be disturbed, put away your phone and things, and then sit down and observe for half an hour. And then yesterday we added this, We'll not put it again and again every day, but try to do that every day for half an hour. It will make a lot of difference in your life. The other thing we had asked yesterday was that several times during the day, try to see what is going on within. Just see whatever is going on. Don't try to change it. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to judge it or justify it or whatever. Just observe. Yesterday, we also briefly said that if possible, try to see the desire, thought, expectations separately. And some of you have questions regarding that. So we'll keep that aside. We'll come to that in a little bit. But for now, just observe whatever is going on. And we said that you can write it down and share it today. So... How many of us were able to do this exercise yesterday? Can you put in the chat? Were you able to do it? Yes? No? Few people I'm getting yeses. Okay, couple of no's but mostly yes, it's very nice. So good, whenever we are doing these assignments, it is going to help us get to that exploration in a faster and better manner. So would anybody like to share their experience of how it was during the day? Were you able to notice something going on in the imagination? You can share your experience with the others. It may help those who may not have been able to see anything. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Sabi. Uh, good morning, Didi. Uh, yesterday, uh, in the afternoon also, while I was working, uh, I tried to observe. So observation was related with the work. Uh, whatever work we have been, I have been assigned. So it was related with that. Uh, nothing else I could able to go further. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, I sit in the garden and close my eye and try to meditate. So I could uh, observe and sometimes I could listen to the voices outside like bird or I can feel the air on my, that cool air on the face. And it's going in, out, in, out like this. Mm -hmm. But in the night when I sat for half an hour, it was, I mean, good. I could be able to sit and I could be able to observe. Sometimes it is work related. Sometimes mm -hmm. it was some past. Uh, sometimes it was content related like this. Mm -hmm. Nice. I could I could be able to do it. Very nice. Yeah. See, a little bit of practice and it helps. Yes. 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 So, um, actually, but, there are many. Ways. But but desire, thought, uh, expectation. I in the night I was trying, but I could not able to differ. Differentiate yeah. between okay, which uh, I should say it was desire, it what it was uh, expectation. This this I could not able to do. 
So we'll look at that a little bit more in detail. <laughs> some of you also had questions like this about desire, thought, expectation. Yeah. Uh, but for now, you can see something. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, thoughts are going on. Something is going on. Yes. Yes, nice. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Namaste, Sabhiko. Uh, yesterday, during the day, I could observe only once. Mm -hmm. And for those 10 minutes, I just lost you know, touch that what is going on outside. Mm -hmm. so there were students in, in the lab outside my cabin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and something yesterday, there was a celebration going on in the institute. So I came to my cabin for uh, some time for drinking water and all. And I just sat there and I lost touch what was going on outside for those 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And there was only this <clears throat> content which was, which was going on in my thoughts. So I did have, you know, it was not blank, but there were thoughts like what happened in the morning today. So how I was feeling in, the, in those 10 minutes in the morning, yesterday mm -hmm. morning when we had those 10 minutes. So like this. So the thoughts were there, but it was good. Yes. Yeah, it was good, you know, getting detached from what is going on outside. for Just for 10 minutes, I could do it. And in the evening, uh, evening no, it's late night at around 8, 7.48. I observed myself for half an hour. For 20, 25 minutes, I was aware. But then I think I slept and I woke up today morning only. So I think... <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, um, when we do this uh, observation, try and not do it sitting in the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I was aware for 20 I think I was aware for a few 20, 15, 20 minutes and then uh, it's only when the alarm rang that I came to know it's morning <laughs> <laughs> see we get tired and we do need to sleep also so that rest is important so if we sit down to observe at a time when we are tired and sleepy and we are on the bed and we have eaten our dinner and everything, those are very conducive situations to fall. <laughs> yes, yes. No, so now onwards, I'll try to do it when I come from college. Uh -huh. so at that, that time, I am I have a tea and then I am fresh also. Sometimes yes. I go for a walk. At that time, I think I should do it. Yes. Nice. Yes. So just briefly, um, since there was this question uh, by a couple of people regarding desire, thought, expectation. So when we look at the imagination, you know, at the different layers, different activities are going on in the self. And they could be going on simultaneously. So even though you might have only one thought at a moment, but at that same time that you are having a thought, you are also having some expectation. You are also having some desire. And every desire you have is associated with some feeling. So this is there. Now when we say desire, this discussion came up in the Hindi session also. And I think it is important to clarify for all of us what exactly is desire. So in the first, um, you know, in the introductory workshop, when we talk of desire for the purpose of explanation, for the purpose of understanding things to begin with, we talk of desire outside, to get something from outside. And we said that the basic aspiration is, at the root is, to be happy. Now, if you notice, that is the real desire, to be happy. Because ultimately, why am I getting the car? Why am I getting the house? Why am I doing whatever? It is to be happy. But when I don't have any direction from inside, my higher activities are you know, veiled, covered, or I am not able to see them, then everything I pay attention outside. 
So I think, okay, this will give me happiness. That will give me happiness. So I look at that and I think, okay, now this is my desire. But in fact, if you see, it is an expectation. An expectation is what? An expectation is what we expect to happen with the outside world. So, I may expect somebody to behave properly with me. I may expect that if I buy a car, I will be happy. The desire is to be happy, but I think that I will be happy when I am when I own a big car. And if you look further, you will find that there is something else behind that. There is a feeling associated with this desire. Desire or expectation, whatever you want to call it. So in fact, it's not really the car. The fact is, you may have seen somebody sitting in the car or you may have associated that with a lot of respect. People give respect to people who come in such big cars. The watchman salutes them. It looks very grand when they come. All eyes turn towards who is coming whatever it may be. So somewhere I am wanting to get that attention. So you see how my desire in the self for happiness, for respect, for you know, having attention. Attention also for what? Or having the right feeling also for what? For happiness. But if I am not seeing anything inside to guide me and I am only looking outside, I think of it as something that I have to get from outside and that will make me happy. So it's actually getting from outside is an expectation. But the desire within can be sort of um, satisfied from within. And that part, when the contemplation begins within us, the first, the lowest activity in the B1 block, the one that, when that contemplation starts, then we are able to see our participation in every relationship. We are able to see that, you know, I can have the right feeling and be happy at any moment. So now that desire starts shifting inward. But earlier, whatever we tried, we tried from outside, but that was really an expectation. An expectation is just Something should happen outside. I'm not seeing my role in it, but I just expect. Like, for instance, I go to teach. I expect the children should behave themselves. That is an expectation. So if they don't behave themselves, now I get irritated. I get angry. I get disturbed. Isn't it? I expect somebody else to behave a certain way. I expect things to be a certain way. If things are not in order, I come home for my lunch or dinner and things are not ready, I get disturbed. I expected it to be right. And when it was not right by whatever I consider right, and when it was not that way, I was unhappy about it. So those are expectations. Thoughts, we can see whenever you have some sort of desire. So if I have a desire to um, be with 
you know, to, to be able to express my uh, feeling of relationship to somebody. Now I may think how I can express this feeling. So I may think about, you know, should I call them? Should I send a message? Maybe I should just go and visit. So things like that. Those are thoughts about how to fulfill that desire of um, fulfilling the relationship with somebody. So like this, we can try to see with every desire, there is some feeling. More important than the thought and the expectation, our focus is on feeling or the desire. Why the feeling? Because it is the feeling that is deciding the thought and the expectation and even the behavior. So you can see that if I have a feeling of relationship and I want to express it, now the thoughts are going in that direction. You start seeing how I can express that feeling of relationship and all of that. And the behavior will go according to that. But if I have a feeling of opposition, now my thoughts will go in that direction. Why should I call? They don't call. They are supposed to call me. They are junior to me. They must respect me. They must call me. So then I, all my thoughts go in those directions. And my behavior is in accordance with that. So the important part is the feeling. That's why we say to try to observe the feeling in all these imaginations. And to begin with, it may be difficult. We may not be able to see the feeling. That is fine. Whatever we are observing, just observe as it is. Whatever you are seeing. And we'll discuss some of the issues, some of the problems that might be there that we face when we are trying to do these exercises. Now, in this first step, when you're trying to observe the imagination, we said, particularly, we want to focus on the feeling, on the desire. So, We have to observe it in whatever way it's, we see it. If we don't see anything also, stay with that decision to observe. And very soon you will start seeing some thoughts. So when we are observing this imagination and we are observing you know, whatever is going on in the imagination. Now this is a very simple step. No, no major, you know, confusion. We just have to observe. But this is a very important step. It's simple. Why? Because anyway, the imagination is there. It is going on continuously. You don't have to create something new. You just have to observe what is going on. And can we observe? Of course we can observe. All we have to do is decide. If I decide I want to pay attention, I am able to pay attention. If I decide it's not important, I have so many more important things to do, then I will not pay attention inside, I will pay attention outside. So that also we can observe. Even if attention is going outside, we can observe. Don't try to change it. Don't try to stop it. In step one, at least what we are trying to do is just observe. Because the moment you try to stop or change it, you are actually not observing at that time. That time, you're just trying to change that thought. That's a reaction. That is not observation. Observation, to observe something, you have to be looking from a distance. So if you are say, 
uh, you know, in the thick of a traffic jam, then you are very, you may be very disturbed going through this traffic jam. But if you are seeing from a distance that the traffic is going, everything looks very beautiful. You know, when you're going in the flight and when the flight is coming down, so if you see a, any highway, you will see cars going one way and cars coming the other way. It all looks very beautiful. But when you are actually in that, you may not find it so beautiful. So when you are observing from a distance, one thing that you will notice is you feel, a lot of you mentioned, we feel very calm. It feels nice. Because now you are not in the thick of that. All day we are spending so much time with ourselves that we are not even aware. And we are getting disturbed, we are getting unhappy, we are getting troubled and so many things are happening. And we think it is outside. But as we start paying attention inside and as we start observing, we are observing from the highest point in the B1 block, the pure observer, what we call point of the natural acceptance. From there we are observing. So when we observe, the imagination is going on in B2 block. We do have the capacity to observe also. So we are observing this imagination, we are observing the feeling, we are observing the thought, we are observing the expectation, so on. But try to focus on the feeling. That is significant because that is what is going to decide the rest of what follows, the thoughts, the expectations, the behavior, isn't it? So it is a simple step because everything is there. You are the lab. What you have to see in the lab is also within you. Who has to see is you. You have the capacity also. At least the potential is there. And so if you pay attention, if you decide I want to pay attention, you will find you can pay attention. So it's simple. And why is it important? Of course, it is important because whatever is my feeling at any moment, that is deciding my happiness or unhappiness. Because we said, whenever my feeling is in line with the natural acceptance, I am calm, I am comfortable. Whenever my feeling is not in line with the natural acceptance, I am disturbed, I am in conflict, I am unhappy. So my happiness is dependent on this feeling. And if I don't know what my feeling is, then it is just, uh, you know, by chance that I might be happy or unhappy and I don't have any control over it. Or so it seems. So this is an important step that, you know, we can look at. Maybe we'll do a quick 10 minute observation and then we can take, uh, you know, your comments, um, you know, what your experience is or if there are any issues. And of course, there are several problems that may come and we'll discuss each of those also. But to begin with, uh, right now, we will, um, for 10 minutes, try to observe whatever is going on without trying to change it or stop it or whatever. If you can't see anything, that's okay. Stay with the decision to observe. Very soon, you'll start seeing something. Don't try to analyze. Don't try to see, okay, which is the feeling in this one. Just observe. Whatever is going on, just observe. And after 10 minutes, we'll take your observation. Okay. Yeah, see, I had this question. Is it okay to have these random thoughts? No, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, is it so that ultimately we want to go blank 
like uh, right now i have just started don't want to go blind eyes. we don't want to go blind okay we are not saying that we are just observing what is going on okay 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 it is the nature of the imagination to go on these activities within the self they are going to go on so if okay. you try to stop it or force it it's not going to happen even if okay. i keep saying to myself no thought no thought no thought that is also a thought isn't it oh yeah so don't try to stop or change it it's fine to have thought just observe what is going on that's okay okay okay, okay. okay. thank you so uh, it was so wonderful uh, initially with the first uh, two batches i i was not able to see that and uh, most of the times there was lot of thoughts a bundle of thoughts mm-hmm. that coming the feelings and th- there was random feelings random thoughts like that but mm-hmm. now i can see that they are well uh, lined up and most of the thoughts uh, i could see that they are in line with natural acceptance so mm-hmm. i'm comfortable within mm-hmm. and also uh, that example of uh, being in traffic mm-hmm. that also helped me of course it is part of uh, exercise too but i could see that any sensation which is coming through body it's not me i'm not in the traffic that also helped a lot it was wonderful mm-hmm. experience thank you thank mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. Uh, yes baby can you hear me yeah i can hear you good morning everyone uh, didi today when i was doing this exercise uh, initially for one or two minutes uh, like i was thinking about when the thoughts come how am i going to uh, what do you say list it down but slowly then the some thoughts started coming mm-hmm. and once or twice even i lost the awareness that i was observing i just mm-hmm. carried away with the thought also yes that is also no. okay no oh yes see whenever you lose awareness mm. means you are flowing with the thought at some mm. point you will yes. come back to awareness yes 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 but yes. you are supposed to be looking at the thoughts yes so don't yes. try to go back and see where did i lose awareness no need no 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 i didn't do that ah, i just when you come back just say yeah. okay from now i will observe again yes yes that is what i That's did yes. yeah 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 i just wanted to share because this happened twice today mm-hmm. nice okay didi uh, like when for, at this time i was actually making plans I, when i started observing and later on i was making plans to go somewhere and all so that time i am not observing right well if you are recalling from memory that's a different thing that is not observing Mhm. See, I am planning something but I can see that I am planning something at that time. That is observing. But if I am recalling what I was doing that time, uh, I was planning this this this. Now I am recalling from memory. Can you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. So ultimately we will be observing real time as it happening live. Okay. It's like a picture is going on, and you're seeing that picture happening right there, mm-hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, like, if I was planning to go somewhere, then what is the feeling in that? What is the desire in that? That you'll have to see. Maybe it is that when you go there, whatever, wherever you are going, why you are going there? If you ask yourself that question, you might get an answer. will be different for different people right i may mm. be going to visit somebody with a feeling of relationship because i want to meet them you know express my feeling to them i may be going with some purpose some work related you will find that whatever is important for us that's what we pay attention to and that's where our thoughts our feelings will be right whatever is important so if the outside is important 
you will see thoughts about the outside. No? If, uh, you know, any particular thing, whatever is at that moment important for us, that's what we think about. So with that, you will be able to see. See, if you're not able to see the feeling, it's okay to initially deduce the feeling based on what thoughts you are having and then try to see why you were wanting to do that. But this is again analyzing. Rather than do it this way, the better way to do it is just observe that while this was going on, at least this much we can observe, was I feeling comfortable or uncomfortable? Okay. Hmm? That yeah. comfortable or uncomfortable is because of the feeling. So some feeling is there and with that feeling, those thoughts are coming. So with that feeling, you'll notice this. I am comfortable or uncomfortable. But more on that when we get to the second and the third steps. But this is because of the feeling. You feel it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So we'll come, we'll look at some of the problems we may be facing. Many of you shared that the attention goes outside. So what to do? This is a very common. So we pay attention to whatever we think is important. So there is a mention in the chat that Silencing myself is difficult. We don't have to silence ourselves. We just have to observe the noise. Can you see the difference? You don't have to stop the noise. You have to observe the noise. You don't have to silence yourself. So just pay attention to whatever is going on inside. That's all. You don't have to stop it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to analyze it. Don't do anything with it. Just observe. So when your attention goes outside, observe that also. Isn't it? But for so long, we had no idea about the self. We were living life as if we are the body. So we were going by, you know, whatever is pleasurable to the sensations, we go after that and so many things like that, no? We were more worried about the physical facility, the job, the pay package, everything outside. So we were paying attention to that. Now suddenly to say, you know, pay attention inside, it looks very strange, it looks difficult. But as we keep doing this, we will find that slowly, our attention gets drawn inside. So wherever the attention is, just observe. If you are paying attention inside and you are able to see the thoughts, especially if you are able to see the feeling, that's great. If you are not able to see, whatever you are able to see, observe it. If your attention drifts outside, okay, observe that also. My attention has drifted outside. At some point, it will come back inside. Then you start observing inside. But don't try to force it back. Oh, I should not be looking outside. What is this? Why it's happening again and again? And I'm forcing myself. And sometimes people will close their eyes shut very tight or do something. You don't have to do all that. Anyway, your attention will keep going here and there. Just observe it. Don't try to force it. Just notice that, okay, it has gone somewhere else. Keep with your decision that I want to observe. At some point, automatically, the attention will come back. Then you pay attention to the imagination and you keep observing. When at some point, it will strike us that this is very important for us. To be able to see your feeling, your thought is extremely important then slowly your attention will start staying inside also. 
you will be able to observe your imagination, your feeling, all of that. So we'll stop here. It's time also to reflect on this and we'll take your observations tomorrow. I will put uh, assignment in the group also and we'll share the observations and there may be many issues, many problems we may be facing while doing this exercise. So we'll discuss those tomorrow.